Hi guys, here's my let's play of Meteor's Observatory in deathless mode and I decided to use Cyrus as I'm a bit more confident with him with Oslim, the boss at the end. So this is a low level Cyrus, as you'll see there I'm on normal mode awakening 14 and this is my first playthrough of deathless mode. So I'm using heavy as it's my highest attack weapon with Cyrus and also I've got my dark fire equipped in it and it costs 50,000 gold to get it out so <laughs> I don't like to change it around much and I have brought in another helmet that I had even though it's given me 200 less attack as I've got a, a capped attack gem in the other helmet but that's one of the benefits of deathless mode it will bring in your unmastered gear automatically and the other benefits are as I've mentioned before you can level past level 10 if you complete a whole deathless mode playthrough which means all the acts and quests and beating the worker and once you've done that beaten the worker in deathless mode then you can level your gear past level 10 to level 15 and the more you play deathless mode the higher you can level and I've got a video all about that which I've put a link to that in the description under this video. The other benefits of deathless mode are you've got access to the deathless mode gear which you can buy once you're in deathless mode when you look in the store and you have to get enough gold to be able to buy that gear. You can take in uh, some expensive gems and sell them once you're in deathless mode that's a way to get more money and also once you've completed any deathless mode quest or every deathless mode quest then all your items that you're forging and fusing will be automatically finished so that becomes even more helpful the higher you get because some of the gear can take a long time to forge and the gems can take a long time to fuse at their highest the gear takes five days but all you need to do then is play one deathless mode quest and everything is instantly forged and fused so that really helps upgrading your gear and also upgrading the dark fire rather than waiting three days every time you upgrade it you just play one deathless mode quest and it's done so that's what I do in my high level character slot I mainly play normal mode with drop gems equipped to get gems and also a titan level gem and then you get better gems and then I play deathless mode to upgrade the dark fire instantly and I keep doing that as I'm trying to upgrade now um, four more dark fires as there's potentially now five dark fires in the game the one from the obscure map and one from Pisces Dragon the recent one from the Aegis Tawny also there was one that was a previous Aegis Tawny and there was a gift last Christmas of a dark fire so if you've been playing long enough there are five dark fires in the game and so far I've only maxed one of them but I'm getting close to maxing the second one it's around 120,000 now and the max is 128 and a half thousand so I do like heavy for the low level character uh, if you perform perfect blocks then you don't get affected by the element attack so even if you don't have your full spectrum defense 100% you can still avoid being damaged by element attack by performing perfect blocks and also unlike light you can get shield back by parrying you get one shield point back for each parry so that's an advantage over light but of course it is a bit harder because you've got to block 
in the right direction, whereas light you only centre blocking for all the hits. But the other thing too with heavy it blocks all hits, so shield bashes, everything, you can block it. And so now I'm reaching Oslim and I've put on my better gear with the high cat gem, the cat attack gem and I've put the other armour back on so that I've got two slots for the defence, rare defence gem and the attack. And Oslin can be a bit tricky, he's got some fast moves when he goes from down to up and that can uh, fall you. He's in, he does have two speeds, he'll go slow and then fast so you've really got to watch out for him, particularly in deathless mode because you know if you die to any titan you get sent back to the hideout and lose your gear so that's pretty scary but uh, one way I, I find is to back up to itunes you know apart from the traditional way of replaying the game and replaying the quest because you can win your gear back and if you don't you can buy it back but the other way is to back up to iTunes and restore your backup. But I suppose that's cheating. But anyway, I didn't have to do any of that because Oslin was down and I didn't get hit once in this quest, so I was pleased about that and I didn't equip any health potions, so that was done. And I just had to open that last chest which gave me a pretty good amount of gold for my low level character. So there's Meteus finished and I'll see you in the next instalment. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favourite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.